And let me mute the lines. I was on the right track, but I just couldn't get that Where is what? All right, good afternoon, morning, or evening, everybody, depending on where you are logging in from. This is our Saturday special training. My name is Brandon Ivey from Los Angeles, California. Thank you for being here. We are one week away from uh, removed from our first cryptogenics events. We had an event in Houston, Texas, and also Sweden. Uh, our co-owner, Will Fietland, is still in Sweden. They just had an event in Stockholm, Sweden. So a lot of activities going on around the world. The next event is going to be in Tampa, May 18th, Tampa Bay, hosted by Rick Ricketts. So if you're in that area, you definitely want to make it a point to be down at that event so you can meet co-owner Stephen McCullough and also... Mike Boggs is going to be at that event. So the couple of things that I want to cover right now is some of the basics. And it's the basics on how to get your business launched and moving and, and what you should focus on at the beginning. You know, there is a science to building your business. And I mastered this, this maybe about 10 years ago, but it took me 10 years to figure out. And a lot of people, it doesn't take that long. Most people, you know, they, they can do it in, in a couple of months. Some people just get it right off the back. Some people, it takes a couple of years. I was stubborn. You know, I was hard to train. So it took me 10 years because I wanted to do things my way. And I was only thinking of looking at things through my perspective. And you realize when you're dealing with people, people come in many different shapes, forms, ideas, beliefs, philosophies, and they don't all think like you. But there are some basics that all people can relate to. And I want to focus on some of those things that's going to help you to build your business. The number one thing is stories. Having a story, being able to relate to people through your own experience. People don't like being lectured to but they love hearing stories. And it's even better if they can relate to your story or they know people who can relate to your story. And the story that we're talking about is your own Bitcoin story. So this isn't something I can teach you, but I can help you to focus on creating. What is your Bitcoin story? What led you here? Every presentation you see me do, and not just myself, you hear from Stephen McAuliffe, Will Fielin, Jeremy Barnett, all the others, they all will tell you a story on what led them to this point. Because we all have a beginning, as you see us talk about in the trainings. What is your story? So get into the practice of, of telling that and teaching that and, and knowing it. I'm surprised by how many people I ask them, what's your story? And they don't even know what their own story is. You're kind of lost. So develop your story. The next thing is, and this is what makes product-based companies so successful, is because the independent distributors in those companies are also users of the product. And by using the product, they're able to have a testimony about how the product has worked in their lives. And they become what we call a true believer. They're a believer of their product because it's worked for them. Now, when you're dealing in the technology sector, the digital sector, where you don't have a product that you can ingest, a product that you can wipe on your body and hold in your hand or whatever it takes for you to get some sort of a result to become a believer, then it's a little bit more difficult. So in cryptogenics, our product is education, which means step number one, go through the entire education modules, all 45 of them. Some of you are taking your time, taking a pace, and that's fine. They're not meant to just be viewed one time. You know, these are things I guarantee the fifth time you see something, you're going to catch something you didn't see before. 
So it's, it's the education that keeps on giving. And that's not even our ongoing live education. But go through the modules. You want to arm yourself with knowledge and information because once you do that, you now make yourself more knowledgeable in this space than 99% of the people out there. So if you want to have a successful business as far as paying attention or taking advantage of the affiliate side, all you have to do is be in a position to know more than the person you're speaking to. You see, I don't recruit, yet I'll always be the number one or in the top five recruiters in this company. I don't recruit. All I do is provide value and information. And when people start to ask me questions, I point them in the right direction. So you want to be a person that is able to give value. That is important. You want to be able to give value. People want to know that you know more than them and you can help them. And Bethany asked, when are the quizzes going to be available? As soon as the programmer tells me so. The, the goal was for that to happen by the end of the month. But the programmers have put all of their focus right now on commission runs, making sure that everybody got paid. <laughs> That's more important right now. Remember, we're still in pre-launch. Official launch isn't until August. So everything you see right now is like, uh, uh, how do you call it? Lacing your shoe, putting everything together. Some of the things you see now are still subject to change. I guarantee there's going to be some different changes that happen between now and launch. This is just pre-launch. So when, when, the, when the programmer says, all right, I'm good to go on, the, on putting the, the, the lessons in, the tests in, then, then we're good. So I don't have the, a timetable on that. The, the goal was to have it done before the month was over. Uh, but then that kind of shifted to we want to make sure everybody got paid and the commission runs this program correctly. The algorithm is correct. Uh, so that, and I think they're, they're, they're at that point right now. So then they can move on to the other, other projects. A couple other things also came in the, into being that, that we didn't expect. Like we added a new product, the mining. So we definitely want to get that into the system and programmed as well. Uh, so by the time we launch, everything will be in place that's supposed to be in place. So just keep your, ear, your eyes Peel towards the the blog, and and you'll see updates about that on the blog for the test. All right, so got off track there, so let me go back to what I was saying. Knowledge, education. Once you start getting this knowledge, you're going to feel a little bit in, more empowered. You're going to feel confident having conversations with others about Bitcoin and blockchain technology. It, it gets exciting. You start to get passionate about it. See, I am passionate about this. Those of you that were on my Facebook Live this morning, you could tell. I listened to it again. I'm very passionate about it because I believe in the product. See, what we're doing here in Cryptogenics is no different than any other company that's selling a product that they believe in. Some people that's in the health and wellness industry, they want to bring health and wellness, and heal the community. That's their goal. That's their mission. Our goal and our mission is to bring cryptocurrency education to the masses because we know what's coming. And once you're educated, then you have more of a sense of, uh, what's the word I want to use, urgency, because things are happening so fast. I was so excited this morning because I saw that urgency. I just came from the Blockchain Expo in London. And I come home and I look at the news and I see BBVA, the biggest bank in, one of the biggest banks in Europe, in uh, Spain, has just completed their test run of doing a $90 million loan on the blockchain. I saw it, read another article. And I'm, we're going we're gonna to turn it into a lesson about how blockchain is disrupting the travel industry and how it's going to make traveling so much easier. So when I say that blockchain technology is going to disrupt every industry on the planet and all of us are going to be affected, if you travel, 
this is going to affect you positively because you're not going to have the same headaches that we normally have when it comes to travel. Long wait times, long transaction times, waiting for delays and all this other stuff. The blockchain is going to make all of that much easier. So people that don't even know about the blockchain are being impacted by it. And I could go on and on and on about industry after industry. I did a Facebook Live earlier this week where all I talked about was the future of the blockchain. Where we were, why we need it, and where it's going to be in the future. I talked about those of you who love watching Star Trek. And when as a kid, the, the, the biggest thing I loved about Star Trek wasn't that they were in space. Star Wars did that for me in Battlestar Galactica. What got me about Star Trek was beaming technology. You know, beam me up, Scotty. The ability to be transported from one location to another. Remember the movie, The Fly? <laughs> that's, what, that's what that was about. And with my wife and I traveling, you know, 10 hours on a plane from here to London, getting to the airport four hours early, beginning our day at, at the crack of dawn, needing a whole day to recover before we, I even got to the Blockchain Expo. What if that was all eliminated? And I can attend the Blockchain Expo by putting on a headgear device and using the blockchain technology and VR to transport me instantly to the event. See, here's one thing, and here's a free lesson for you. And it's important you understand this because this is the conversations you're going to have with people when they say, why should I care about cryptogenics? Why, why do I need education? I don't, when you don't understand something, you're not going to see the value in it. And one thing that I really tell people is that the internet is the transfer of information. But when you transfer information, all you're doing is sharing copied versions of the same thing. Nobody has true ownership unless they have a copyright on something. But what the blockchain, Internet version 2, is doing, it's the transfer of ownership of something from one person to another digitally. Where no two people can have the same copy. The blockchain ensures that. It's tracking that ownership. That's not possible on the internet. That's the best in layman's terms that I can explain and express blockchain technology. And when you see it that way, then you can see all of the businesses out there, and I mean every single one that will adopt blockchain technology. Every single one. Because the ones that don't will go obsolete. They'll go the way of Blockbuster. They'll go the way of Radio Shack. See, the internet is MySpace. Blockchain technology is Facebook. And going through the education, you're going to know this stuff. And what happens when you're educated and you're speaking to people about cryptogenics, you have an air of confidence to you, a swag to you that people are going to be drawn to. You know what you're talking about. Here's what I tell people now, and I actually got this from a guy. I, I love the way he said it. His name is Mike Hagan, who's on board with us. Some of you may recognize that name. But I love the way he said this. He said, when, you, when, you, when you're talking to people now that, you, that, that are speaking negatively about crypto and blockchain, there's only two reasons. You know, they're either informed or they're not. Okay? If they're not informed... They're just ignorant. If they're not informed and they're speaking negative about the cryptocurrency revolution, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment, they're ignorant. If they are informed and they're still speaking negative about it, then they're just plain old stupid with all due respect. That's like somebody knowing exactly what the Internet's going to do or knowing exactly what cell phone's going to do what email is going to do, and still going to say negative about it. You're just stupid. It's going to happen with or without you, whether you like it or not. It's like gravity. You don't need to understand gravity for gravity to work. You don't need to understand the blockchain for the blockchain to work. But for it to work best for you, you want to be educated on it. 
So you as a representative of cryptogenics, you need to be the expert. We need you to be a product of the product. To spread the word because we are, are bringing a Bitcoin cryptocurrency revolution to the world. And cryptogenics is that gateway for people being introduced to crypto for the very first time. Think about it. Would you rather somebody be introduced for the first time through YouTube? Through their cousin Tony who, who made $5 on Bitcoin, luckily? Or actual go through an education platform? But if you're not educated on this, if you're not using the product, you're not going to sign anybody up. So that's step one. Use the product. The recruiting will come naturally because you're going to believe in what we're doing. You're going to understand why we're doing it. And that's going to come out in your conversations with other people who don't know nothing about this. It's that old saying, light a man on fire and people will come to watch him burn. You want to light yourself on fire. Again, I am passionate about this, not because I'm going to make some money, but because I'm going to help a whole lot of people get educated and they can change their destination. This is exciting. I'm a student of history. It is a privilege to be living at this time, at this era, with the knowledge that we have. Because this opportunity is not going to be here for the next generation. The blockchain is already going to be done. Will there still be opportunity? Yes, but not like right now. How many of you would have loved to go back in time and been there when Steve, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates were creating Apple and Microsoft, bringing a home computer to everybody's world, Dell Computers, putting in the software behind it, Dell, Microsoft, and Apple in 1980. How would you like to have been in that room? Or the internet in the 90s? See, this stuff is happening and only going to happen right now. Which also gives me, and I'm speaking of me personally because I'm sharing a story, a sense of urgency. I love my father and I love what he's been able to provide for our family. But this wasn't here for him when he was my age. It's not going to be here for my two sons when they're my age. It's here for me and my family's generation right now, which means it is my responsibility for my future generations to take advantage of this. It's like knowing, well, you met the Wright brothers. One day they're going to invent flying. Do you think you might want to pay attention to them? Thomas Edison? This is where we live, and I'm not joking or being dramatic when I say this. I just read an article on the Facebook Live this morning of the CEO of Pantera, who believes that this is going to be a $40 trillion industry. $40 trillion. Do you know the entire network marketing industry? I think they are sharing around $40 billion. Forty billion, from Amway all the way to now, all those, all the companies out there, forty billion. The cryptocurrency industry crossed four hundred billion again today, and that's nothing compared to forty trillion. So it is almost irresponsible and negligent not to pay attention to this, or get your piece of the pie right now. $40 trillion, that is the greatest transformation and shift in wealth in the history of mankind for the most amount of people. $40 trillion. I didn't make up that number. 
<laughs> so once you've got this armor built around you, you're confident about what you're saying. You went through the education process and you understand this stat that in the United States, 50% of the Americans have been exposed to cryptocurrency. 8% own at least some of it, $1,500 or less, the average, 18%. I'm sorry, 8%. And half a percent even know what it is. And that was proven to me in London as I was walking around that expo. John McKell Wayne, Carl Davis, Christy Amos Nottie, Steph Williams. We were walking through there and talking to people. Most of them had no clue what was going on. That was shocking. I'm like, the people in this room should be the smartest when it comes to understanding this technology and what's going on. Here's what I found, actually. They understood what their business was attempting to do. And like most businesses, they saw the rise of cryptocurrency and decided to throw that tag on their name so the stock value can go up and take advantage of this new trend. There's nothing wrong with that. They didn't start in this industry. They're adapting this industry's technology into their current business model and using it to raise funds because they traditionally, they couldn't raise it in an IPO, so they're trying to raise it in an ICO. And when you start asking them questions and they get away from their script, they were clueless. They looked like deer caught in headlights. They, they kept trying to go back to the script. They were clueless. The CEOs knew a lot, I'll give them that. The one I was impressed with most was the CEO of Celsius. I mean, he, he, he shared a story. He told the truth. He said, listen, I made all my money raising money for IPOs and businesses and startups. I saw what was going on in this crypto thing five, six years ago and started to pay attention. Learned everything he possibly could. Then decided to create a company within it because he knew he could raise the ICO in it. One of the best performing ICOs of 2018. Raised more than $50 million this year. And all he did was copied what other companies were already doing and came up with a better idea and undercut them on the price. That's it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even have to be a genius and, and to think of and create something new. He just copied somebody else and did it better and had the resources to raise more money. His staff, clueless because I talked to some of them, clueless, outside of the corporate script. And if that is what's going on inside of the Blockchain Expo, then the vast majority, everybody outside that was walking the streets of London, enjoying a nice sunny day, had no idea what's going on, which means cryptogenics is ready for everybody. Everybody. The Blockchain Expo in any event like this is a cryptogenics promoter's dream. See, we weren't prepared at this event. But the next event is going to be the Future Tech Expo in Dallas that cryptogenics is going to take advantage of. And you better believe we will be all up in there with our T-shirts on, with our little flip cards, our postcards, our business cards, passing them out. Because one thing that I, I shared with one of the other CEOs was that you want to know how to increase you having customers is if your customers understand the need of what it is that you're trying to provide. If they don't believe they need what you have, why are they going to get, why are they going to buy what you're selling? But if they're educated and understand, oh, wow, yes, I do need this, you have more customers, which means everybody in the Blockchain Expo is a Cryptogenics customer, no matter what company there are. Every company in the crypto space is a Cryptogenics customer. They need the education. They need their customers to be educated. And we do for them instead of them having to do for themselves, instead of them trying to create and, and, and teach everybody. We'll do it for you. We'll get them ready to understand what crypto is about. And when you have that education, the next time you're walking around an expo, you're able to tell the BS 
from the real. You're able to tell if this CEO is looking to really bring something of value to the market with blockchain or if they're just trying to make as much money in an ICO as possible and run off with the money. You're able to tell. You, you, can, you can tell the con men from the real. And from my own personal experience, out of all the ICOs out there, I would say only 10% of every ICO that comes out is going to be of something of real value to the community and go somewhere. But it's going to take education for you to be able to tell the difference and sift through. And it was the ideas that they had. I mean, I'm not an imaginative, per, imaginative person, but they were coming up with some stuff I never didn't even think of to use blockchain technology, how it was going to disrupt everybody's lives. Some of it, I think they're way too ahead. I mean, we're not there yet. We may be 30, 50 years away from mass adoption of any of the, some of those things that they were bringing up. But the fact that they were already thinking about it was exciting. You want to be excited to share and talk about cryptogenics. Again, I don't recruit anybody, but I do put the fear of loss in people. And look at them like they're crazy when they say they don't need cryptogenics. I'm like, oh, really? Good luck with that. Good luck to you. <laughs> we'll talk in five years. It'll be five years too late for you. What do you mean you don't want cryptocurrency education? That's like saying, I'm not going to go to school and learn what two plus two is. Because if you want to survive the rest of this century and not just survive but thrive, you better have a basic understanding and knowledge of Bitcoin and crypto. Or you will be the sheep that's being taken advantage of by those who do understand it. Vladimir Putin, and I cannot believe I'm even quoting him, said it best. He said two things. Number one, and then we're going to get into some of the leadership parts here. Number one, he said, the Stone Age didn't end due to lack of stones. The Stone Age ended because new technology presented itself. So are you going to be those that's still trying to hold on to the old stones like America's trying to do right now because we currently have dominance with the U.S. dollar? Or are you going to take advantage of the new technology because Vladimir Putin said something else? Those who take advantage of this new blockchain technology will be the world leaders of the future. Those who do not will be living under the thumb of those who do. This is the president of Russia who said this, not some Joe Smo off the street corner. That's why it doesn't phase me when some clown says, oh, I don't need that cryptogenics. I don't need no crypto training. I'll just go to YouTube. Yeah, well, yeah, you do that. Doesn't phase me. I can't be shook. So you want to be in that same situation, proud of the product that you have, knowing that it is doing good. And I haven't even talked about money yet. That's a byproduct of it. The money will come by default. If you're focusing on the money side of it, when you're talking to people about cryptogenics, you will fail because you're going to sound just like every other product-based company out there trying to pass out samples to people. Take this product or you'll die. This product is known to make the blind see. <laughs> Now, I'm just playing around. I love product. You should see my kitchen. I got so many products from different product-based companies. It's ridiculous. My, my wife told me to stop ordering. Yeah, someone wants me to order some Zervita stuff now. But your product is education. And how does it look? You're trying to sell education when you're not educated yourself. The next thing is my rule number three, return on investment. And I guess I'll just go to that slide right now. Return 
on investment. Let's get that. Skip all this stuff. Right, oh, I went too far. Right here, my internet connection is unstable. Don't see, I don't cut off on me, off me now. Somebody unmute the mic. Yes, Crypto Duchess unmute. All right, all right. Return on investment. What does that mean? Candace says, I got number one, but what exactly is number two? I'm talking about number two right now, if, if that's what you mean. So here is the second part of this to build your business. Number one, you got to be educated on yourself. You got to be seen as a, as a um, professional. Can, I got number one, but what exactly is number two? Okay, you said number three. I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to, to the beginning. I get into a zone, <laughs> and I just go. So let me get back on 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 path here. So here's the next thing on building your business. You spent three hundred dollars. Most people that's looking at the crypto space, one of the major reasons why they'll be skeptical skeptical about cryptogenics before they even know what it is that Cryptogenics does, is that it's another company in the crypto space and they're afraid, just like the others in 2017, they're gonna put their money in it and it's gonna either get shut down, they have an exit scam, the not do business in the United States, in other words, they're gonna lose their money. See, people wanna know that they can go to sleep at night, wake up tomorrow, the company and their money is still there. It's the risk factor. So how do you eliminate the risk factor? I say two things. Number one, we're not selling securities like those other companies were doing. You're not giving the company your money. And number two, the cost is only $300. So if you cannot afford $300, this is not for you. And you definitely need to rethink what you're currently doing and how you can make that sacrifice. And when you do pay your $300, no matter if you can afford to or not, Rule number one is how fast can I get that money back? Oh, I know what you meant when I said number three. Okay, rule number one, crypto education. Rule number two, never invest with money you cannot afford. And number three rule is always get your money back after you've invested. So if you spent $300, how fast can you get your money back? Here's the deal. You want to make sure you get your money back and lock it down in your first 24 hours. First 24 hours. That means if you do three sales, you just made your money back. Now there is no risk. You can go to sleep at night and know you're not going to lose your money. You just made it back. Everything's a profit from this point forward. So as you're building your team, lead by example. I learned this a long time ago. At one point in my career, I was very big at, I have to be number one. I have to be number one. I need that recognition. I love hearing my name being called. I want to walk across the stage and somebody give me a big fat check. I want everybody to see me, 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 me. That only got me so far. And I struggled to be number one. But then when I realized, wait a minute, let me help the people on my team become number one. Let me help them walk across the stage. Let me help them make as much money as possible. You know what ended up happening to me? I made a whole lot of money and I always stayed number one because I made sure the top 10 of the leaderboard was all on my team. So put your focus on, okay, let me lead by example first and make my money back. Let me knock out my three. I am not the type of person that wants to wait until everything is 100% perfect. Oh, I'll wait till the app comes out. I'll wait till the bot is there. I'll wait till the mining. No, 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 no. Lead by example. If you want to be one of the top producers, your team is going to duplicate what you do. 
So if you first say, okay, my first goal that I got started, I'm going to go through the education and then I'm going to get my money back. Once you do that, you can teach those steps to the people you brought on board. And if you get your money back in your first 24 hours, what do you think your people are going to do when you let them know, all right, let's get you in your education and let's get you to make your money back, your first three in your first 24 hours. And then you teach them to do the same and do the same. And if everybody is focusing on that and you're not even focusing on rank, you're going to hit the ranks by default. In my earlier days when it was hard for me to understand the compensation plan, I remember my mentor told me to focus on the basics, said, just use the product and make your money back and teach other people to do the same thing. That's it. And next thing you know, two or three months, I understood the comp plan because I saw why I was getting paid and I said, okay, let me just do more of that. I didn't worry about all the other stuff. I'm telling you, you will be a top promoter and a top money earner. If you follow this step of getting your money back ASAP and you're teaching them to do the same, because remember, this is a binary. You only need two to be qualified, but that third that you're doing is creating spillover. And if your organization is doing the same, then they're all creating spillover for each other. It's a domino effect. This key is so important to be able to do. Get your money back. Then the next thing you can focus on is I'm going to focus on the customer acquisition, just some of the basics here. Let's get to the tree itself. Understanding the tree, the point system. Don't look at this, and, and I need you to wean yourself out of each person equals a point because that's not true. Our focus is not on getting people. Our focus is on selling the product because as we add more products to cryptogenics, the products are going to be worth more points than just one. So don't look at this as each person, but as each cell. So you have one leg that is going to explode. Some of you, I, I, it blows my mind. I look at the back office and I see you've got 300 people on one side and nobody on the other. And you've been like that for three weeks. And I'm like, what in the world are you doing? Or in other words, what are you not doing? What are you not getting when you've got like 5K sitting there waiting for you? What, where's the disconnect here? So somewhere along the line, you're not understanding what you're sitting on or what you have. So take a look at this. Let's do the math here. You're going to make $100 on every personal sale you do. So this in green is yours. You just made $300 with those three sales. These sales you didn't do but you're getting credit for. You're getting credit for these sales. And it goes all the way down. So if you're that individual, oh, I got 280 people on one side. Man, I, in my entire career, I have never, ever had spillover. Never. In this company, I'll never have spillover. Because I sit at the top. On my side, we provide the spillover for the team. So if you're in a position that you're blessed to have 5, 10, 50, 500, 1,000 people, well, yeah, I forgot about that. And they've got the other leg. Some of you got like 1,000 people under you and nobody on the other side. <laughs> do you know what I would do if I, was, if I had that? Man, I'd go crazy if I woke up one day and I had a thousand, a thousand points on one side. But look at what's going to happen for you. On your other side, this person that you brought in, $25. This person that you probably didn't, you didn't bring in, still $25. This person you didn't bring in, $25. 
This person you didn't bring in, 25. All the way down. The money is crazy. So, you definitely want to be in a point where you understand the cryptonary. You're going to get paid on your weak side $25 on every single point. So if you're in a financial situation right now and you've got 400, 500, 800, 1,000 people already on one side, what are you waiting for? Well, Brendan, I don't know what to say. Really? This is the easiest thing and conversation I have ever had. Easiest build I have ever done because I don't have to sell nothing. I thought we were selling the education. The way I sell the education is in conversation. I just start talking about Bitcoin. Hey, how, how, how much do you know about Bitcoin? How much do you know about crypto? Are you involved in it? Have you invested in it? Are you looking to invest in it? You're not. I think you might want to do so. You don't know where to begin. I got an education program that can help you out. Here's my KGX Pro marketing system or website. And let that system do the rest. You don't have to explain nothing. Let the system do the rest. The system is your expert. Not you. The more you rely on the system to do the work for you, the bigger your check's going to be. And I know some of you, and it might be a little bit ego-driven, you learn so much information, you get so excited, you want to go out there and share the world. That's okay. But you're not going to have a large organization and a team. Whoa, what do you mean, Brandon? Why not? Because duplication. When people see you doing that, they're automatically going to think, man, if I sign up, am I going to have to be an expert like that guy? I don't have time. I've got a nine-to-five job. I've got a wife and kids. I've got a second job. By the time I get home, I'm tired. So you end up hurting yourself if you're coming off as the man or the woman. If you put the system first by saying, yeah, you know, I have a nine to five job or I'm working two jobs or I have no time in the day. I don't have time to answer 101 Bitcoin questions all day. I just got a system. I just got this website. It does all the work for me. Now, the person who you're talking to is going to say, you know what? I can, I'm busy, but I can give away a website. I can give away the app. Just wait when the app comes out. And that app's going to be your biggest recruiting tool. I can give away apps free all day long. Let the app do the work. You're going to have the biggest organization because people are going to be able to duplicate that. What do you want? You want to be known as the genius of the crypto world or as the person making the most money in the crypto world? Because they're both not the same. <laughs> All right. Let's go over the ranks because we definitely don't cover this in our presentations because that is not what our focus is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me show this real quick. The law of duplication. See, I teach in threes, not two. And the reason I teach in three is because it takes three to make your money back. But let's just say you duplicate two. And let's say it takes you 12 months to do so. Okay? It takes you one month to find two people. Then it takes those two people a whole month to find two more. Then it takes those four people a whole month to find two more. So now at the end of three months, you have a grand total of 14 people on your team. Somebody unmuted themselves. Let me, Kathy Joe, let me mute. All right. So after three months, you might be looking, man, I've been in this thing for three months. I only have 14 people on my team. I didn't make no real money yet. I made about, I don't know, maybe 300 bucks. You know, I might want to quit this. No. <laughs> This is a marathon, not a sprint. Because look what happens 
if this continues to duplicate and it takes a full 30 days for everybody to get there too. At the end of 12 months, you now have 4,096 people on your team. And if it works evenly this way, you know, you have 2,048 on your left, 2,048 on your right. Let's multiply that, or you know what, uh, I didn't do that. That's not correct. But you're getting paid on 2,048 people. Let's multiply that times $25. $25. That's just over $50,000 for the year. Now, some of you heavy hitters are like, oh, that's not enough money. I want to make that a month. But let's look at the little guy. The average American makes less than $30,000 a year for a family of four. Yet you made $50,000 in this year in crypto because you shared it with two and they duplicated that every month for a year. Could an extra $50,000 help anybody out just by doing two, getting two, getting two? Remember, I say three. All right, so let's go on. Let's go on to the ranks. So three and it's free. Blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. Leadership levels. Those, these are goals to aspire towards. When you become into the business and you enroll your first two people or two cells, you now reach level one. You're a Satoshi. Your weekly cap is $10,000 a week. You're a Satoshi. If you do four sales, two on each side, you're now a Nakamoto. You can make up to 20000 a week. If you make six sales, three on each side, you're a crypto. If you make four sales on each side, you're a trader. This right here, position. You know, I, I got to, you know, still in the early, early stages, and I'm thinking of, you know, team strategy building here. I'll go back. Let's see the, the, the real spot. Maybe this position here. Nakamoto, four sales. So either Nakamoto or crypto. We're still too early in the game for me to get a good figure on how long it takes people to hit these positions. But there is that, that sweet spot position that we want to have everybody focusing on because once if everybody's focusing on that, the rest happen by dominoes. But right now for me, I say it's the trader position. Eight cells, four on each side, because that's all you need to do. That's completely in your control. After that position, then it gets a little different. It's all about the team because to be a crypto emerald, you have to make 10 cells, five on each side, but now you need to have at least 2,500 members on your left team and your right team. And you personally need to sponsor two people who hit Satoshi, one on each side. So remember what a Satoshi is again. Somebody that enrolls two people. So you need to have one person on that side and one person on the other. I have people tell me all the time that they think they're, they're giving me a strategy by saying, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put like my brother who's not going to do anything on my power side so that I'm at least qualified. And I'm going to put all my good people on my inside pay leg. Wrong. You shoot yourself in the foot. You need to have at least one good leader on your power leg that you personally brought in. Don't be just be relying on whatever spillover you're getting. You need to also provide at least a leader over there, or you're not going to get promoted to the higher levels. You know what I did when I got started? All of my top biggest leaders, they're not on my inside leg. They're on the power leg. If, if, if I were to move just one of them to my inside leg, game over. <laughs> Game over. 
but I'm looking long term here. So you, if you've got a power leg, you still need to have some lead. I wouldn't say just put one, put three to five. Never rely on just one. So let's go back to that crypto emerald. And you know, I got to show where this shows up. So if you go to your website, it's going to show up right here what position you are. So currently, I'm a trader. Now, I personally enrolled a whole lot more than just, you know, five people or so. But to get to the top positions, I need to have that next position, Crypto Emerald. Let's go back to the slide. I need to have 5,000 people on the team. I don't have 5,000 people on my team yet. Oh, man, it switched again. Okay, I think I can switch this. Swap. There we go. So once I have 5,000, 2,500 on the left, 2,500 on the right, I'll get promoted to Crypto Emerald. And the company has a special promotion going on right now. The first person to get promoted to Crypto Emerald is going to get that brand new Rolex. I think it's valued at $10,000 or something. I don't remember. But you're going to get a brand new Rolex watch. First person to get to Crypto Emerald. Who is it going to be? You know, I, I can't speak for the entire company because I don't know what's going on in the entire company. But I do know there are several individuals like Peter Blackwell, Rob Harris, um, Jairus Coleman, Rick Ricketts. I, I know those individuals that are in position better than everyone else. I, those individuals already have, I think, at least a thousand people on one leg. So they're getting close. So the next position after Crypto Emerald is going to be Crypto Ruby. You want to be a Crypto Ruby. Make six sales on each side. And then 5,000 on each side. That's the goal I'm looking at right now as my short-term goal is Crypto Ruby. How fast can I get 5,000 members on my inside leg? My goal is to hit 5,000 members on my inside leg by June. That's the goal. Next is uh, after Crypto Ruby, Crypto Sapphire. 15,000 on each team. Now we're really talking. Seven cells personally on each side. Then you have Crypto Diamond. Eight cells on each side, 25,000 members on each team. Then you have, oh, wait, yeah, that's a lot. That's the top. Sapphire and then Diamond. Eight levels. Stephen McAuliffe thinks we'll probably have our first Crypto Diamond by September. Might happen sooner than that. I think, you know, we might have somebody hit Crypto Diamond that's not even in the company right now yet. That might be the first. Also, another, another um, bonus is whoever maximizes the comp plan first that earns 50000 in a week is going to get a brand new car. So you guys saw that on the blog. So those are the two promotions that we got going on right now. So now, I mean, that's all I wanted to cover in this training, you know, people say, well, can you go over the marketing? Well, the owner of, of the person who created the marketing already did a training on the marketing. So you just go back and watch that video, log into your back office, everything you need to know. I mean, it, this, in my entire career, this marketing program, the KGX Pro, is the most in depth that I have ever seen for one company because it's programmed and designed for cryptogenics it's not just a program that all right we got a couple of capture pages for you to choose from and that's no 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 it goes far beyond that it's an actual entire training mechanism so all you have to do is go through it spend a whole lot they spend a whole lot of money on this 
So next thing I want to do now is, since we've got about five minutes, is uh, answer some questions. Uh, so Carlos has six sales a week. No, 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 not six sales a week. Six sales, period. <laughs> I tell my leaders that you should enroll when you first get started. Focus on first make your money back, but then enroll 20 people, 10 on your left and 10 on your right. And you will be in position to be fully qualified to reach the top position of the company. 20 people, 10 on your left, 10 on your right. It is not six sales a week. It is six sales, period. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me, all right, bear with me because I got to, oh, you can do so. If anybody has a question, go ahead and unmute your line, state your name or your calling form, and we'll see how this goes. Any questions? Or you can type it in the chat box and I'll answer. If anybody has any questions or comments or anything you'd like to share. And yes, this was recorded. Uh, I have a brand new computer, so it might take me a little time to, to get it uploaded, but it'll be by sometime by tonight. Let's see, shared with 20 people this week, but follow up with phone calls? Absolutely. I have a question. Carlos. Yes, my name is Carlos from New York. Go right ahead, Carlos. So six says or the different numbers qualify you for the different levels, and then you just have to create the volume. Is that, is that what it is? Correct. So let's say, let's go back to that slide where you're bringing up six. It is this one right here. So Crypto Ruby okay. means you need to have six on each, well, it's not even that, but six on each side, personally enrolled. So that's a total of 12. Let me go back to, so I don't confuse anybody. There we go. Make six cells to be a crypto. Three on each side. So if you do that in your first day, you, you did it. You're qualified for life at that point. It's not three a week or th you know, three a month. It's just three on each side, period. And what happens after? What happens? I mean, this qualifies you for what? That's what I'm trying to. No, well, that well by hitting that mark, you're a crypto. If you it does it has nothing to do with how many people you have on your team. If you enroll six people by yourself, and you put three on your left and three on your right, you're a crypto. So what happens next is to reach the next position. And and, and what's the benefit of being a crypto? Mm -hmm. One you're going to be able to earn at least up to $30,000 a week because those three individuals, they may be superstars and they explode. So you didn't enroll anybody else, but you're going to get paid on everything that they do. I didn't even talk about the check match bonus. Okay, basically, okay, I got it. Basically, this is like I opened the levels. Basically, that's what it qualifies. That's correct. That's correct. You open the levels. All right, that makes sense? Yeah, thank you. No problem, Carlos. Anybody else? Yes, Brandon. Uh, where will the recording be available? As soon as I'm able to get it uploaded, which will probably be in a couple of hours. Where, where will it be located? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload it onto our Cryptogenics YouTube channel, and then it goes, oh, no, this is, that can't have, it's an hour long. Uh, it will be on YouTube, but I'll also put it on our Facebook group, and then we'll have the company put it on the blog. Oh, excellent. Okay. So that if I'm, anybody goes in their back office to click on the blog, they'll be able to access it. Do you make yourself available uh, to, you know, personal calls? Yes, I do. Uh, so how do we get a hold of you? Shoot me a message on Facebook or send me an email. And my email address is IV30, IV is in Victor, E-Y, the number 30 at gmail.com. Okay, great. And on Facebook, I'm... I'm you know, I'm Brandon Ivy. Okay. And we're in the Facebook groups. I'm in the Facebook groups as well. Uh, one thing I did not hit on and I forgot, and I'm kicking myself for it, is the fact, and let me go there right now, is we definitely want to make sure people, when they sign up, they actually pay. <laughs> you might think that that sounds simple enough, but for some people, that's the most difficult part. So I actually want to log in and show something here. We've got 
video here, click here how to learn to pay with US dollars in the USA. If you're dealing with individuals that for whatever reason, they just can't figure out how to get their Coinbase, whatever Bitcoin wallet account set up and funded, or it's gonna take too long, like, well, I don't have my debit card to my account. The bank says it's gonna take seven days for me to get my money. Don't go that route. Go ahead and let them pay in US dollars. Watch this video and show them this video. So qualify them. When you sign them up, ask them, so how do you want to make the payment for this? Do you want to do it in Bitcoin? Do you think you're ready for that? Or we can do it in US dollars. Let's get you funded because you can't get access to your training until you pay. So I didn't go over that in the beginning and I, and, and I wanted to spend a little time on that and I ran out of time. But make sure you guys take advantage of that step. Uh, Shane West, talk about team match bonus, please. I know, Shane, you want to talk about that one, and I know why. <laughs> Here's team match bonus. Team match bonus means you're going to earn up to 10% on the people you personally enroll. So let's just say, for example, you shared this with 10 people, and those 10 people, you help them to make $1,000 a month each. You're making an extra 10%. That's $100 per person. So you're now making an extra $1,000 a month. But what if you help those 10 people make $10,000 a month each? Well, you're now making an extra $1,000 a month on each of them. That's $10,000. So you want to go wide. If you enrolled 100 people, but only 10 of them went to work, you're going to get that check match bonus, and there's no cap on that. So if you've got one superstar that says, look, I'm taking this serious. My goal, if you guys know my goal, is to be making half a million to a million dollars a month. What if you sponsored me? You earn 10% of that. So that's how the check match bonus works. What if you're not living in the USA? Can one still sign up that way? Yes. Yes. I just don't know the details on how. But there's another way that's also called ACH. Wire transfer, even if they don't can't use Zelly. So there, yeah. So people outside of the U.S. can sign up without using Bitcoin. You just got to follow the process. And also, your sponsor is not customer service or customer support. I want to make this very clear. Those of you that love to ask questions before you read anything, that love to Send your sponsor a million and one questions as if they're the owners of the company. You're shooting yourself in the foot because if you do that, then when you start building yourself a team, they're going to use you in the same format. And trust me, you do not want to be spending your day trying to figure out how somebody lost their, pay, their password. <laughs> All right? I can't log into my office. What's my password? What, how am I supposed to know this? I'm not the programmer. Take full advantage of the support desk. KGX solutions at gmail.com will be your best friend. KGX solutions at gmail.com. Do not call your sponsor and use them as customer support. On the funnel, KGX Pro, do not call your sponsor to ask them questions that you need help with setting up KGX Pro. There's a support tab. We pay them for this. Your job and your goal is to make sure, and I got Mike Boggs calling me. Hey, Mike, I'm right in the middle of the training. Almost done. Oh, you're recording. Okay, see ya. All right, bye-bye. Right. Yesterday was Stephen McCullough. Today is Mike Boggs. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, at the, he knows I would have been done at the top of the hour. So we're just, I'm just going some question and answer right now. All right, uh, my fools. Hey, Brandon, does a person on who we personally sponsor have to be paid to receive commission? Yes. How do you expect to get paid if they don't pay? <laughs> they need to pay for you to get your commissions. All right, anybody else? I'll take one more question. Alex? See, Alex Brown unmuted himself. Alex, do you have a question? Not really. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Anybody else have any questions? Going once. Going twice. Hey, Brandon. Oh, I heard somebody. 
Yes. Brandon. <laughs> Rich Keen here. Go ahead, um, Chris. Rich. Rich King. Go ahead, Chris. This is Rich King. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kept saying Chris. My That's bad. okay. Rich. Hey, um, is KGX uh, leaders and promoters allowed to use an incentive to sign people up? Okay. Let's be very clear on this one. There is nothing wrong with creating your own type of promo or incentive to build your team, you just cannot do so publicly and advertise publicly. If you want to have a private conversation with somebody that's about to join and you have a private team or a private group going on, yeah, do, you, know, you, can, you can do what you want. But okay. publicly, no, because that's not backed and sponsored by the company. And Thank we you, don't Brandon. want anything coming back on us about that. Yes. All right, somebody else. Did that make sense, Rick? All right, um, I'm getting a connection is not stable message, so I don't. Hey, Brandon, what happened? Uh, I got a I got a connection unstable, internet unstable, so you couldn't hear me. So did 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 what I say make sense? Were you able to hear me? We didn't yes. hear you for the last oh, forty seconds or so. Yeah, all I was saying was, you know, whatever you decide to do with your team, you know, that, that's, that's up to you and your team members, but that you cannot do any promotions stating, join my team, I'll give my bonus back to you if you join me. Pub no, 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 no. Privately, you can do whatever, whatever you want on that, but publicly, no. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I only thought, you know, if someone wanted to, you know, give a $20 gift card to Starbucks or, you know, something small to help them. Yeah, that's fine. You something just can't small, publicly yeah. promote that way. Okay, okay. Thank you, Brandon. No problem. Anybody else? Everybody trying to call me right now. I got to end this. That's right. I said I was going to be done by this time. All right, that's all enough for the questions. Thank you guys for joining us. I will get this, this recording. Wait, wait. Alex Brown's got his hand raised. Alex, go right ahead. Yes. Yes. I was just wondering if someone signs up but doesn't pay with that position. So you want to know what happens? Yes. Nothing. They, I mean, they just sit there. The company is not purging any positions right now. I think the closer we get to launch – they're probably going to purge out all those people that haven't paid, but that individual is not going to lose, you know, they're going to lose the spillover. They're not going to get credit for any of the points coming below them if they don't pay. But so, I mean, it's just like they just signed up for nothing, but it's not going to hurt you. Thank you. No problem. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new from this. I'll get this recording out and I hope it didn't mess up on me on the recording. But I'll get it out as soon as possible. Guys, have a great day. God bless and see you on the next presentation, which will be Tuesday. Remember, there's a new schedule now. Presentations are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern. Take full advantage of them. We should have 1,000 people on every presentation. And you guys, here's the thing that I learned how to become a professional. I never missed a presentation, even if I didn't have a guest. I was there because I wanted to learn this. I wanted to soak everything up. I didn't want to have to be dependent on anybody else. So the more I was on, the more I learned. So even if you don't have a guest, be on the presentations. This is how you soak this stuff up. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. God bless. Thank you, Brandon. Yes. Thank you, Brandon. Great call. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon.